All right, this is really exciting happening right now. A South Mountain Community College professor. These are live pictures you're looking at. Dr. Cyan Proctor is in the capsule at the Cape getting ready to blast off into space. That is so cool. Well, four people, none of whom are professional astronauts, which is kind of crazy when you think about it. None of them are professional astronauts, but they are all <laughs> to a capsule atop a 200 foot tall SpaceX rocket lifting off right now. Oh, there it goes there. As they, as they like to say, Godspeed to those four Americans aboard. Of course, the one we're really keeping our eyes on is Dr. Cyan Proctor from here in the Valley. She has waited her entire life, was turned down twice after applying to NASA to become part of the space program and was finally selected uh, to join this all-civilian flight. And Caribe, this goes such a long way in developing space tourism, which people like um, Elon Musk think right. is the next. And Richard Branson. Yes, there are so many people competing, but Elon Musk is the first to put four civilians into orbit once they get there. They will be up there for three days. I know, they, and they're actually not going to the International no. Space Station, which is where typically the SpaceX missions that are launching for NASA, uh, NASA will go, but they'll go up for three days. They will orbit Earth. And from what I'm told, it'll take 90 minutes each orbit. They will see the uh, entire, I mean, I, I'm so jealous. I like, know, it is so cool. And, and again, none of them are astronauts. You've yeah. got a, an engineer, you have a physician's assistant, uh, Dr. Cyan Proctor, who is a college professor, yeah. and then a CEO there um, of a billionaire company there.